Thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or anywhere in your birth chart that Aries might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, my PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon. I think you guys will like. Okay, so this reading is going to be for mid-May 2020, keeping in mind that Altero readings are timeless. So whether you come across this reading right after I upload, a week, month, or even a year from now, if you feel drawn to watch it, most likely you'll find a message for you within the reading. And if it doesn't completely resonate with you, keep in mind that this is a generalized reading. So if you know your other planetary placements, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can listen to those signs as well for additional messages. Okay, so with all that being said, let's go ahead and calibrate these cards to the astrological sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And ask our angels, guides, and ancestors for any love messages for Aries for mid-May 2020. Spirit, what love messages do you have for Aries for mid-May 2020? Spirit, what love messages do you have for Aries for mid-May 2020? Spirit, what love messages do you have for Aries for mid-May 2020? I think one more time. It feels, it feels one more. That's what it's saying. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and divide this into three. One, two, three. All right, the card on the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles. This is going to be the overall energy for this reading. So as we go through the spread, I'm going to show you how this Knight of Pentacles is going to relate to the other cards that come up. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is all about uh, being slow and steady, sure and steady, uh, you know, like... Um, the tortoise and the hare, you know, taking your time, making sure, not making any sudden uh, decisions or rash impulses, just being sure of yourself and keeping that focus on what it is you actually want and not being distracted by other things that are going on around you. Okay, hold on just one second. Sorry about that. There were some utility workers right outside the street, right outside my door, and it was so loud. I decided to go ahead and uh, pause because my mic picks up noises that are way in the background sometimes clearer than I can actually hear them or even louder than my voice okay so yeah let's go ahead and lay these cards out now for those of you who are new here I do four columns. The first column is about you, what you might have recently been going through, things you are dealing with, and um, things and opportunities and people that are coming your way. All right. The second column is the same thing, only it's for your beloved, your intended, your twin flame, soulmate, karmic partner divine counterpart. This could be somebody that you just met. It might actually be an ex that you still feel those very deep soul ties with and want to reconcile with. But however, generally, it's a person you are thinking of first thing when you wake up in the morning and the last person you think about when you fall asleep at night. All right. And the third column is obstacles, challenges, fears, anxieties, that type of things, not really anything that's going on. It's just about, uh, you know, what we're scared of mostly that's going to happen or don't want to happen, that sort of thing. And the last column is outcome. Now, I've just laid out two cards in each of the four rows. That's eight cards. I'm going to do this two more times for a grand total of 24 cards. Okay, by the time we get to the end of the reading after 24 cards, generally we have a pretty good idea about what's going on. This right here kind of says it all right now. You may have been dealing with uh, someone that's narcissistic. Uh, they could, You could be in a toxic relationship. This could be someone <clears throat> that has alcohol or drug issues and basically you have had enough and you're 
uh, drawing on that Queen of Swords energy and deciding to just eliminate this completely from your life and just not going to play those games anymore. You're not going to feel as if you have to be bound to and tied to this relationship, okay? And like I said, there's people working right outside. If you guys hear them, I apologize. It's New Orleans. We're getting ready maybe to open back up around the 15th of the month and they're doing a lot of prep and making sure things are straight and working in, you know, hurricane season. Uh, we got this notification yesterday. This is hurricane prep week, so they're making sure all the drains and gutters and sewers are clean. All right, <laughs> so yeah, there's gonna be some noise. All right, so this is about your partner. And so, you know, you're deciding, this is you, this is your partner. This is how you feel about your partner, this is your partner. So, this partner, is uh, when, when you decide that you're going to cut them out of your life completely and you know despite however much you may be thrilled by the fact that uh, you get this dopamine rush because they're constantly baiting you with um, it's like uh, reward and punishment they treat you really bad but then when they treat you good it's so good okay but you're using your head over your heart and deciding to cut this person out of your life and they are acting as if their whole entire world is falling apart and they're going to use that to uh, gain sympathy from you to uh, draw on that softer part of you that you uh, would ignore whatever has been going on so that that you want to leave them or take them back. And in your obstacles and challenges, we have the King of Pentacles as well as the Sun. And so with the Sun, we have this new growth and this new opportunity and things that are going on. And it's going to afford you the chance to focus completely on yourself right now. Now, because because you've been with this person who may have been a little bit controlling or a little bit uh, uh, you know, toxic, so to speak, uh, a lot of times they put you in a position where you're financially dependent on them. And you're afraid that if you move on and start this new thing, that you're not going to have that uh, security and that financial security. But trust the process, trust in the universe, and know that there is new growth coming for you and uh, opportunities. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Uh, sounds like my story a couple years ago. Anyway, this outcome with the full as well as the five of yeah five of wands not wearing my glasses uh the seven of wands looks a lot an awful lot like this but anyway so yeah the full talks about that new beginning that talking about just jumping in just Taking that leap of faith, starting completely over. Of course, this is going to cause a little bit of problems with uh, the person you're leaving behind that you cannot tolerate anymore. And it's going to cause, you know, these little petty arguments and things like that. Uh, they're going to try to guilt trip you. They're going to try to make you, you know, any, any way. When they see that you're ungettable, that you're not coming back, uh, they're, they're going to maybe try to cause you a little bit of annoyance. It's not really so much problems. They're going to be, they, they just took a really big blast to the ego and they don't like it. All right, now the second column we have the Five of Cups and the Lovers. And with your partner's column, we have the Six of Wands and the Star. That's so amazing to me that every time. <laughs> In one of these readings, no matter how much I shuffle, when that tower shows up within a few cards difference, that star comes up, which is always is in the in the major arcana. It's the card that comes after the tower. So the tower is complete destruction, and the star is brand new, complete beginning. All right. Now, in your obstacles and challenges, we have the two of swords as well as the ace of wands. All right. Let's see where this is going. And in your outcome, we have the six of pentacles and the nine of cups. All right, guys. Um, I don't. That was in reverse. I don't do reversals because that's more of a modern thing. It's not something that was traditionally done when uh, tarot was first in use. Okay. So um, I just I read more traditional and I don't do reversals. Okay. Uh, there's there's plenty of meanings in the cards without doing having to do reversals or anything. Uh, and I don't think, you know, if it was intended that they were to do that, that would have been done that originally. Okay. All right. So with you, we have this 
this five of cups and we have the lovers okay so you're you've left him you're leaving this crap behind you're leaving this devil behind you're leaving this toxic person that has hurt you and uh, emotionally uh, driven you to your end basically that to the point that you had to leave the relationship but at the same time you miss it okay but never fear because there is love waiting for you and you have the lovers in combination with this okay you have this brand new opportunity for love remember you had the fool earlier which talked about just jumping right on into the future you know just knowing that everything is going to be fine especially the full combination with the sun that you had you are going to find love again love that is actually worthy of your time and attention so don't cry over spilled milk you don't know what was in these cups here it could have been really poison that you didn't need to be partaking of okay be grateful that these cups have spilled and receive your blessings that are coming in now your partner of course being the egotist that they are when they see that you have moved on and have started this brand new beginning uh they're gonna go around and act like oh yeah i got rid of her or him i got you know i'm, I'm better off without them their ego is really injured and they want to come off like they're the person that dumped you instead of you dumping them but you know what who really cares about that because you're gone and you've got this brand new opportunities that are coming your way and you're the one that it's going to come out on top and they're the ones that are left behind so <laughs> All right, so now again, this is a lot like that Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. You're making that decision. You've had several twos come up in your reading so far. Now, when you have this Two of Swords, okay, that talks about coming to a truce. That comes like leaving it completely behind. It's like, let's not uh, worry about, um, you know, what my heart is telling me because I can see intellectually what this person was doing to me and the games that were playing on me and I'm just going to, you know, completely shut that out and uh, regardless of the fact of whether you were attracted to them, they're going to try to use uh, sex and sexuality and passion to draw you back in because, the, of course, the roll of the hay always works, right? And so they know that and they're going to try that with you to get you hooked back in again because they cannot stand the fact that you are moving on and you are doing so well without them. All right, so outcome, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. All right, so you have abandoned the situation where it was completely one-sided, where you're the one that's doing all the giving in the relationship, and they're the one doing all the taking. You had spent the entire relationship trying to please this person just so that you could get uh, that, that affection and that attention and that emotion they give you uh, occasionally. Sometimes you would find yourself giving and giving and giving and they would seem very ungrateful or they didn't even care or even notice or didn't even want to be bothered with it. But now, okay, now you have your nine cups full. Of course, you need your, you know, you need your tenth cup uh, for this little cycle here to be completed. And you just, you know, you have this new love that's going to be coming into your, uh, into your life, into your sphere, into your uh, opportunities, okay? So let's go ahead and see what is going on here. So we got the Queen of Cups as well as the Three of Pentacles. Your partner has the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Swords. In your Obstacles and Challenges, we have the Four of Cups and we have the High Priestess. Now that happens a lot of times after you leave somebody who has had you in that little cycle of ups and downs, highs and lows, um, you know, where they're completely driving you crazy one minute and hurting your feelings and emotionally abusing you, and the next minute they adore you and you are the perfect person in the world to them. You get addicted to that dopamine, okay? You have to be really careful of that. All right, and your final outcome, we have the Four of Swords and we have 
the moon. Now I'm going to draw a couple of extra cards uh, when we're done doing this little section uh, just because it's ending with that, all right? All right, so this new person coming into your life may very possibly be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Someone that can, um, you know, cool your fires just a little bit. Someone that can nourish you. Someone that gives you that loving uh, compassion and attention that you deserve. Somebody that actually looks up to you and admires you. And somebody that you can be proud of and that they can be proud of you in return. Now, your partner with that Wheel of Fortune, you've left, you've, you know, you, you decided to make that move, you took that chance, that Wheel of Fortune turned for you, and you left the scene and basically cut this person completely out of your life. And because of that, you're going to find that you're going to reap a lot of rewards that are going to be offered to you. Now, we were just talking, about, I was just talking about this, not we, but I'm talking to y'all about it. But anyway, yeah, so you... You have this love, this this uh, that Queen of Cups. Okay, now it can be a male or a female. There's no gender in the tarot. It's all about that energy that the Queen of Cups represents. Okay, but don't don't fret. Okay, because uh, addiction is horrible. Whether it's drugs, alcohol. Uh, or another person even, you will find that normal feels boring to you and that's not what you want. You want somebody, um, you, you know, that gives you that rush, but you know, there was, a, there was a big, big price to pay for that and you were pretty miserable about it. And this is giving you the opportunity to think about the dark and the, the dark and the light and the good and the evil and you know, everything it's not always black and white. There's a lot of gray involved. And that gray area is that medium where you need to be where, you know, things are, are more balanced and not so crazy all the time so that you're constantly trying, trying, trying to chase that high and that rush that that person afforded you because the other side of that is just no good at all. All right. Now, this tells me that you're going to find out, find out some things that maybe you didn't know before. And it's going to enlighten you a little bit about how fortunate you are to have left this. And I'm reading it as fortunate because you did have that wheel of fortune come up uh, in regards to this person uh, that you've been in a relationship with. Even if you've been separated from them for a while, this is the time that you're going to make that actual decision that, you know, I'm not having any more of this. And you've taken that time, much like that high priestess that you just had, and you're going to consider all these things. You're going to take a little bit of time out to do that healing that you need in order to move on with your life. And of course, you know, I told you that I would relate this to you. Take your time jumping right back into a relationship. There's going to be new love and new opportunity coming your way. But, you know, you've been through a lot. Enjoy yourself. Um, become more used to what's normal and not that chaotic mess that was happening. So I just generally, I just reach in and grab a card. So we have the Knight of Wands, and this is so Aries, if there ever was a card. This is about, you know, deciding that you're making that decision. You, this assures me that you are making a good decision about um, what what you need to do with your life and your your going and even though there may have been some uncertain moments about uh, you know how you would get by you're going to go ahead and do it all right and be successful because you're an Aries right and the second card we've got the magician yay that is an awesome card to end this reading on so the magician tells me that yes just like Dorothy at the end of the Wizard of Oz when she tells her to click her heels and and she's like oh you know, you've always had it in you. You could always do this anytime you wanted. And this is you drawing on everything that you have inside of you and manifesting the life that you want. You want uh, real and true love, okay? You, things are changing for you. You have great opportunity that's coming your way, all right? And 
you have the ability to make it happen. And your heart is very full of love to give this new person that's coming in. And the star is such a beautiful card for this reading as well as that fool coming in telling me that, you know, these hard times are over. These emotionally hard times are over for you. And, you know, you you are strong and you've made that decision. You are that knight of wands and you're going to go on and, um, you know, make a success out of your new life without this person, okay? All right, so Aries, that was your reading for mid-May 2020, and I want y'all to go look in the community tab, please. I'm doing a giveaway for a mighty Aphrodite love drawing kit, okay? It's like crystals and oils and, you know, pretty little things like that, um, different petals, stuff like that that you can use if you don't have love in your life or current love or you want to enhance the love that's in your life at the moment okay and you just use this it's not to manipulate anybody it's to draw love into your life okay not a particular person all right okay guys i love you so much and i thank you for all of your comments like share subscribes it all means so very much to me and to those of you who have so very generously donated to my channel especially right now while the economy is so screwed up i really know how much that means um, to you to be able to do that and how much it means to me to be able to be blessed and receive that from you all right guys love you bye bye